Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to try and accomplish the same thing as we did in the last video, have an operational amplifier circuit that will give us an output voltage equal to three times V2 minus five times V1. But in this case, we're going to use a difference amplifier. The difference amplifier equation can be found like this. V output is equal to the ratio of the feedback resistor divided by R1 it's this resistor divided by that resistor times the difference between V2 minus V1. But that's only true if the ratio of R1 to RF is equal to R3 divided by R4. If that's not the case, we need to go to a different equation where the output voltage is equal to RF divided by R1 times this quantity times V2 minus RF divided by R1 times V1. We're going to need to use this equation because the number, the coefficient in front of V2 is not the same as the number or the coefficient in front of V1. So we have to use this equation right here. First of all, let's find the coefficient in front of V1. Since that has to be equal to a 5, that means that RF divided by R1 must equal 5. And that's pretty straightforward. So we can say that RF divided by R1 must equal 5. And if we plug that into the equation right there, we get the following intermediate result. We get V output is equal to this divided by this should be 5 times the quantity 1 plus RF divided by R1 is 5 divided by 1 plus the ratio of R3 divided by R4. We multiply the times V2 minus RF divided by R1, which is 5 times V1. Notice we already have half the result. We wanted a minus 5 V1, which is exactly what we have. But now we need a 3 in front of V2, which means this quantity here should equal 3, which means we're going to set it equal to 3 and solve for R3 divided by R4. So let's do that over here. We have 5 times 1 plus 5 divided by 1 plus the ratio of R3 divided by R4. And that has to equal 3, the number we're looking for over here. So let's simplify this and see what we get. So we have 5 times 1 plus 5. Well, 1 plus 5 is 6 times 5, which is 30. We get 30 divided by 1 plus R3 divided by R4 is equal to 3. Next, we'll divide both sides by 3 to simplify it. So we end up with 10 divided by 1 plus R3 over R4 is equal to 1. Let's cross multiply. So here we get 10 is equal to 1 plus R3 divided by R4. And finally, when we subtract 1 from both sides and turn the equation around, we get R3 divided by R4 must equal 9. So the ratio of those two resistors must equal 9, and the ratio of those two resistors must equal 5. Notice why that would work. If I plug that in here, I'll get V output is equal to 5 times 1 plus 5, which is 6, divided by 1 plus 9 times V2 minus 5 times V1. Notice 6 times 5 is 30, divided by 1 plus 9, which is 10. 30 divided by 10 is 3, so this ends up being V output equals 3V2 minus 5V1. So you can see it works, and we get the result we were looking for. Now we need to plug in some values for the resistors that will help us determine the circuit. First of all, we want RF to R1, that ratio to be 5 to 1, right here. Let's make this one a 50 kilo ohm resistor, and then we'll make R1 a 10 kilo ohm resistor. This will give us the 5 to 1 ratio to give us a minus 5 V1. Next, we want the ratio of R3 to R4 to be equal to 9. So R3 to R4 should be equal to 9. And, well, we'll make R3 9 times R4. So let's make this equal to 90 kilo ohms and R4 to be equal to 10 kilo ohms. So this will give us a 9 to 1 ratio for R3 divided by R4. So this circuit right here will give us exactly the output we're looking for relative to the inputs of V1 and V2. And that's another way in which we can get the very same circuit as we did in the previous video, and that's how it's done. 